okay team uh, the bcp utility the next session is one command yes uh, it is one command and it is uh, comparable with your exp command we, if you we, we have some senior people here they will recollect oracle command exp and uh, imp export import now it is exp dp i think exp dp exp dp something like that imp and exp import and export old command was very quick short command if i'm not wrong where you simply start exactly yes the same thing it is now it is going through the data pump earlier but it, it was a standalone utility isn't it yes 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 so similarly here we have this command line utility and uh, this work directly at the file system bypassing the engine so therefore when you work with this command uh, you have to supply everything at the command line the query the type the export you want to save the template you want to save the configuration all the options are listed here and uh, remember it is 30 40 year old command right from beginning this command is there and no change in the syntax uh, sometime with this ls command like in uh, unix is old command right from beginning same command uh, i don't see any change in this command uh, since my old days so what we specify and this is the same thing is available in uh, uh, sybase also and sybase also i cover this command separately as an independent session because it's impossible to cover all the options but yes we should look at uh, the major options of this command using this bcp utility simple export import data from sql server using bcp bulk copy program that's the full form when performing database maintenance you will occasionally find the need to export data out of your database tables to an operating system for storage or conversely import data to a table from a file this file can be a delimited file can be a specific format for uh, microsoft sql server can be other formats also which are recognized so different formats are supported you may need to data backup or insert data that comes from a third party export as well sql server 2019 make this process simple by bulk copy utility bcp it works directly at the operating system level now when i'm saying this it works at the operating system level it is self explanated that triggers will not be fired because if you have insert trigger created or update trigger created they will not be fired because operating system triggers is a feature of sql server they are not a feature of bcp utility index will not be uh, created automatically because index again is a is a process by done by the server so you are bypassing the server so you are just moving the data directly into the table so any additional stuff you have to do manually so uh, old stories are always relevant I recollect my uh, old story of uh, DBase 3 plus and Fox base where th there was no concept of automatic indexing never right in the beginning it was uh, manual indexing always every time we insert some rows we have to issue the command reindex add a, add a record reindex and delete a record reindex so <laughs> the command always but then there were named indexes and there were uh, auto indexes then came the auto index concept cdx i remember still remember this uh, compound index structured compound index i i remember those days so uh, index when it was introduced uh, we saw the performance gain now it is automatic uh, when we go through the engine so that is the advantage but bcp will not do this automatically the bcp utility perform these tasks bulk export data from sql server into a data file bulk export data from a query bulk export or import data from data file into sql server table and generate format files check the bcp version execute bcp hyphen v command at a command line and you'll see which version is used that should be compatible to your version confirm that it is uh, this version currently which is applicable to sql server 2019 requirement you need to have sql server installed 
connection setting you will be going uh, doing or sending it to the command line itself bcp installed and the database adventure works 2019 installed and that is uh, sql server integration services and data transfer services because it may use these integration services also because that is a prerequisite is given that you have to have these requis installed this is the syntax database name schema dot table name view and then optionally you specify the query either view or query in double quotes in means you are pulling the data in out means you are sending the data out so in from this file or out to this file query out data file and format now packet size batch size hyphen c is basically character encoding uh, i mean uh, in character format hyphen c then d the database name hyphen uppercase d hyphen e where the error will go hyphen e format file first row input row and then uh, credentials login credentials 100% uh, has to be there hyphen p for password and then uh, other server id server name hyphen s server name and uh, other options are also there login id user id so we have user id group uh, you, you know server name and password and everything credentials everything is to be specified at the command line only so data file is the full path of the data file source or target database name name of the database in which the specified tables or view resides if not specified the default database for the user will be taken you can explicitly specify the database explicitly specify the database with hyphen d option in or out or query file format null this specify the direction of bulk copy in means copy data from a file into the database table out means copy data from the database table or view to a file if you specify an existing file the file is overwritten query out copies from a query and must be specified only when bulk copying data from a query format it create a format file based on the option specified like hyphen n hyphen c or these options and table or view delimiters when bulk copying the data bcp command can refer to the format file so that every time you run this command you don't have to specify all these options again and again it means you can something like you can specify this format into a file save it and refer to it if you want to execute the same set of options again schema schema name query tsql statement table name the table from where the data is to be sent view name from the view name from where that uh, where the data is to be sent then packet size specify the number of bytes per network packet sent to and from the server batch size specify the number of rows per batch of imported data do not use this option in conjunction with hyphen h that is row per batch equal to blah 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 hyphen c perform the operations using character data type which i was uh, trying to explain in the syntax itself so look at simple example bcp adventure works 2019 person schema person table i'm sending out to this dot bcp hyphen c hyphen t my server name is this this is my server name i specify the server name hyphen c argument here is used to perform operation using character type hyphen t is used to use trusted connection which is windows authentication means i don't have to specify authentication hyphen t is used for local authentication if you are using a remote server then hyphen t will not work hyphen c is the server name you can also run this in the powershell PowerShell is a powerful tool to automate tasks using scripts and the command line. You can also run BCP using PowerShell which is included with Windows and can also be installed on Linux or Mac. And it gives the same convention of uh, variable name like uh, this is variable database name. Then schema, person, table, person, path, 
where you want to send it so you can create variables store them uh, store the details and then refer them in the command so you are creating the command again that is in the form of a uh, variable so ps command is bcp database schema table out path and hyphen t hyphen c this make it dynamic this make it scriptable use this invoke expression to call the variable with bcp command so invoke expression and the command so whatever is stored into this variable it will treat that as a command l will interpolate and replace the value specified in the variable substitute the value of those variables and it will make this command and execute it and this is the screenshot of the same thing as a demonstration because i verified only then i'm showing it to you and i did it uh, yesterday only to be honest db schema table path the command and i invoke expression i specified this and you can see the output here more on this you can refer here there's some more examples available on this link i have included the link so that you can try some more examples from this that's all for this session thank you very much team